Dads, the biggest tool that you can bring in the birth room is your presence. In this video, we're going to go over what a doula daddy is and ways you can be a supportive birth partner. Birth is a spiritual, emotional, and physical event that you and mom will remember in detail for the rest of your life. And studies show that continuous birth support is one of the most basic needs of a birthing mother. But the birth partner's role is so unique and deeply essential at improving birth outcomes and birth satisfaction. So I'm so glad you're here to learn more. So what is a daddy doula? A daddy doula or birth partner ensures that mom's physical and emotional needs are being met by being mom's grounding rock and voice. Daddy doulas see to the peace, comfort, hydration, and nutrition of the laboring mother throughout the whole birthing process. On the big labor day, you want your presence to come off to the birthing mother as confident, comforting, loving, helpful, calm, sensitive, and even excited. Something interesting to get your wheels turning about this is a study showed that women are more attracted to feminine men when they are near their due date. Of course, this is not just about looks, but women are especially attracted to feminine men because of their presence or character. Maybe it has to do with caring more about intuition, feelings and emotions, which is definitely a thing in the birth world. Letting mom take the lead and just feeling more emotionally connected is so important in the laboring room. Now, I know we just can't change everything about you and I'm not asking you to do that. However, we can make a few tweaks with your presence and your body language, which will be very reassuring and supportive to mom. So a few tips on body language or presence. You will want to just breathe deeply and calmly to just put off this confident and calm energy while mom is laboring. Even slow your speech and keep your voice soft, light, and kind. Give gentle but firm touch and be quick to help and validate feelings. Mom will pick up on your confident and attentive signals through your verbal and nonverbal language and give her a sound and confident mind knowing that together you can overcome anything. Sometimes you can fake it till you make it, but a way to improve your presence authenticity during birth is by improving your knowledge and ways to support mom. So I put together the PRESENCE acronym. This is a tool for you to start practicing while mom is pregnant and to use during labor to be the best birth partner for this precious laboring mama of yours. PRESENCE stands for prepare, rhythm, and courage, suggest emotions, needs, company, and eat. So let's go over these together. Prepare. Who doesn't like the feeling of just being prepared? I encourage you to familiarize yourself with what to expect and what to do so that you're not taken by surprise and can remain mom's grounding rock and reassurance that everything is normal and that she's doing a great job. Rhythm. This is something I want you to be familiar with and aware women tend to have a rhythm in birth. They usually discover this rhythm in active labor, and if they are disturbed, it can make them feel really stressed. So I want to encourage you to recognize this coping style and don't correct her, don't stop her, but actually join her in this ritual and rhythm that she has going on. This means aiding her with her repeated use of rhythmic activities with every contraction. You can sound with her, count her breathing for her, help hold her up or press on a spot on her back. She is usually bending over or getting in a certain position or holding on to something and swaying in a rhythm. Whatever her rhythm and ritual ends up being, and it may even seem super strange to you, but it means that she is coping with labor very well. So be encouraging if you recognize this. At the start of a contraction, you can say to her in a confident and calm tone, let's do this, breathe with me, good, 
Stay with it, sink into it. All of those things moms love to hear in labor. Encouragement. Encouragement that she is doing a good job and that you are proud of her. You can read off her birth affirmations to her, remind her of her and her baby and how they are working together. Know the birth motto that is super meaningful to her. Ask her pre-labor in pregnancy what all of those are and even where she's going to place them in her labor bag or where she's going to set them up in her birth space. Ina Mae Gaskin says, if a woman doesn't look like a goddess during labor, then someone isn't treating her right. So we got to take care of our mamas and suggest to them what they have been planning on, what they were preparing to do in labor. Because sometimes they can just be in this whole birth world and just not really know what to do. So your suggestions are very important to her, but really only suggest what she had planned to do to cope. Certain massages you prepared together, counter pressure, certain positions and breathing techniques. And again, know before labor what labor coping technique she is planning on using. And even what her preference is, she may not like some of the massages that even I suggest. So just practice these coping techniques and labor massages so you know what she likes best. Emotions. Show emotions. The birth room should be filled with love and sympathy by all the birth team members. But most importantly, don't forget to bring your sense of humor, Ina Mae Gaskin says. And I think this is usually a dad strong point. Dads are often best at bringing humor into any situation, just make it more light and not so serious. And leading midwife, Ina Mae Gaskin says that is super important in birth. But you know your your lovely lady best and what gets her cheered up to boost endorphins and to even take her mind off of labor. Needs. Know her needs, wants, and birth wishes prenatally. Dads, you know mom best and can read her cues better than anyone. At some point in labor, it's best to have very little talking to not pull mom out of her internal state that she should be in and try your best to provide what she is needing and what it is that she wants. A daddy doula also makes a very great advocate. So know her birth plan, who she wants in the room, who she wants out of the room, and what interventions she wants and wants to avoid. It would also be helpful to become familiar with her labor station and labor bag and what the items are for and where the things she needs are. So you can be quick to help with whatever she's needing. I remember when I was getting nauseous, I immediately was like, I'm feeling nauseous and my husband ran to get a misting spray and he immediately just spritzed it in my face and I felt so much better. So he knew exactly where that was and got it out of the bag very quickly. Company, be present and be all there. Drop everything you had planned for that day and just be her company. Join her by being beside her, providing attention, grounding her with your touch and massages, also supporting her physically, like helping getting up and changing positions. If she shares something with you, say things like, I hear you, or that's totally understandable that you feel this way and not really like trying to give her solutions or fix anything for her, but just validating those feelings. And we've talked about talking softly and quietly to just not be distracting. Eat. So I thought you would like this one and it is super important for you to eat, making sure that you're energized and hydrated to provide continuous labor support. Labors can be really fast or they can be just really long and you don't want your dropping blood sugar levels leaving you cranky and sluggish on this big day. Same with mom. Um, one of the things that can slow down labor and drop blood pressure is just being dehydrated. So making sure she's getting sips of water as many times as she can. Lastly, I encourage you to have help. Consider hiring a doula, the birth partner. You will require some support of your own, your emotional and physical needs as well. Even needing a break at times to eat, go to the bathroom, 
rest or even a break from the intensity of birth. Doulas can take over and give you that little break and even explain things and answer your questions and even guide you with ways that you can uniquely provide support to mom. That's all I have for you in this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.